Hello all. I started this particular growing year off by planting early potatoes. The varieties were Annabelle and the Red Duke of York. When I harvested them some months later, I then recharged the bucket using the same soil and planted 10 small leaf plants that I'd been given. The variety was Elephant. This is a compilation video that has a two pot potato reveal and a one pot 10 leek reveal. The potatoes were harvested in summer, the leeks were harvested in autumn. Enjoy the video. This potato is called Annabelle. 10 inch pot. If you've seen my few of my videos by now, you'll already know that. If you haven't, that's what we're using. Okay, these have been in 14 weeks. Time to have a look. Snip the tops off, make it easier. This is Annabelle. See it? Good root ball. Nice and solid. There's potatoes everywhere, look. Okay, there it goes for a good one from Annabelle. Now then. There's the seed potato, rotten. That's not unusual, of course. Leave. Hey! It's my dog Molly trying to eat it. Hey! Leave. Right, Annabelle. Let's see where we're at here. Mm. Nice one. Now this potato was an actual set aside potato, so it wasn't bought as a seed potato. It was bought from the local shop to eat. And uh, I just took a couple out of the bag basically and set them aside. Um, so if anybody tells you you can't grow potatoes from shop bought potatoes, tell to watch this video. Right, I think that's it. Let's pop them there and we'll have a way in. A count and a way in. This is Annabelle from Set Aside Potatoes. There we go. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight reasonable sized potatoes. What we got? That's nearly a pound, isn't it? Can't call it a pound, can we? Not in the shop you couldn't. <laughs> no, we'll call that uh, three quarters of a pound of Annabelle potatoes. Just to give you an idea of size.
Um, one potato in a 10 inch pot, set aside potato. Hey, hold on, hold on. These small ones, we're gonna make a pound. Yes, I'm calling that a pound. That's a pound. If there isn't a pound, I'll find another one in there after I've knocked the video off. Bang it in, it'll be a pound. Trust me. I'm growing several varieties of early potato this year, but this is the only red skin. This is a variety called Red Duke of York. Um, I've been growing this one now for 14 weeks it's in a 10 litre pot. Multi purpose compost. Take the foliage off first, then we can see where we are. And I've got to tell you, at this point in time, red is not my favourite colour. I have an onion bed with 80 onions in, roughly 80 onions, and that's roughly half and half. White skins and red skins. And of the red skins, there's more than a dozen either gone to seed or wasted. So I've had to get shot of those and replace them. So let's hope I can do better with red skin potatoes than I'm doing at the moment with red skin onions. Right. Red Duke of York. All gone. Looks like the seed potato. Definitely a red skin. Oops. Yep. Start to get them. Pop me near. Then if we've got enough, we'll do a count, we'll have a weigh-in. So, I think we've got enough. Well, I can tell you now, these look better than my uh, red skin onions in terms of uh, quality and, and what we're getting as a crop. Just have a look through here, see if we can find any more. That's it. Right. That's what we've got. Let's do away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, and we won't count the titches but we'll weigh them because they'll soak in the lead. Oh, that one nearly got away. I think it's 14 now, is there? This is the best bit about gardening at home. You can go indoors and get the kitchen skills. How's that looking? 
hope you can see this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, eleven, twelve. Oh, this this might break my record so far. My record so far is a pound and a half with rocket. 12, 13, 14, and there's a couple of teachers. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're going to call that a pound and a half as well. So that's a pound and a half of Red Duke of Yorks from a 10 inch pot. This is a pot of leeks that I've grown on my patio. There are 10 leeks in this pot and the pot's a 10 inch pot. You can see I've supported the leeks using a shopping bag. I think I've showed you that on a previous video. And I've also attempted to blanch the leeks up as best I could with these cardboard inserts from kitchen roll or toilet roll or any roll that, that has a cardboard insert. I'll stop the video now because I've got all these cardboard inserts to take off and this bag and that's not too interesting what will be interesting is when we drop this pot and just see what we've got in here I've remo now removed the shopping bag uh, and I've removed the cardboard collars and if I lift the leaves up I think you can see where we're at here now these are the leaks okay there's a leak called elephant and these leeks were given to me by a gardening mate of mine. Um, so I got the leeks for free. In fact, this whole pot is for free, and I'll explain why. The leeks themselves, I've told you, were given to me by a mate. So it didn't cost me anything for the leeks. That's why you can't take these leeks out of the pot. Okay. Look at that. So, yeah, where was I at? Oh yeah, so I've got the leeks. The leeks were free. The pot. That was a pot I used to grow early potatoes in, so I didn't need to purchase a pot to do this job. And this is recycled compost, that was the compost that grew the potatoes in this pot. So I paid nothing for the pot to grow leeks in, nothing for the compost to grow leeks in, and the leeks were free. I've got these for nothing. Now there's only one way to get these guys out, and that's to split the root ball. We just need to be careful, we don't actually split the leaf. Right, we'll work on this half, shall we? Okay. Three, four, five. Okay. Here we go. Nothing for the compost, I already had it. Nothing for the pots, I already had it. Nothing for the lakes, I had those given. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do now. Switch the video off. As you can see, there's a lot of soil still on the base of these leaks. Um, I'll switch the video off. I'll get all this soil off. We'll have another look at them.
the first wash, I'm taking most of the soil off the roots. The first wash is just a rough wash out here in the garden in this bucket. Let's see this. Okay, when I've got most of this off, I'll take these indoors, I'll tidy them up, I'll bring them back out, I'll put them in this barrel. See what you think. Right, these are the leaks washed up. Okay, just pop them in here. So we can get them all. Save the biggest and last. Ha ha ha. Hold on. How's that? 10 leaks from a 10 inch pot. I'll just show you this pot. It's absolutely unbelievable what's achievable. Just growing veg on your patio in a pot. That's a 10 inch pot. That's what they came out of. Can you believe it? Absolutely. Spot on and get you up with that. So veg can be grown in a pot on your patio and you can get some good results. There's the result of one pot of mine. Ten leaks, stood in a pot on the patio, that's the reverse.